A hail of gunfire. That's what El Paso police say officers were met with when they responded to a call in the city's northeast. Injured in that shooting was a police officer on the force for barely a year. ABC 7 Saul Signs joins us live from University Medical Center where that officer was taken in Seoul late this afternoon. We learned police now have a suspect in custody. Yeah, Eric and Stephanie, I want to show you a picture of who it is that police say opened fire on police officers overnight. Now, this is 29-year-old uh, Alexander Eugene Jeffrey, who opened fire on police in what they described as a hail of gunfire. Caught in the gunfire is a police officer with one year on the force. He was shot in the lower leg and sustained injuries to the arm and ear. That officer was brought to UMC where the officer is being treated for their injuries. According to police, officers responded to a call in the 8900 block of Comet Street from a female asking for help, but according to police, she then hung up. Police say that around 1.15 a.m., Jeffrey opened fire through the front door of the home when officers tried making contact. Officers retreated, seeking cover. Police say 29-year-old Jeffrey continued firing at officers through the front window of the home. With those officers, it was an off-duty police officer as well. Police say Jeffrey surrendered a short time later and was charged with two counts of aggravated assault on a public servant and one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I went to that northeast neighborhood earlier and I saw a number of officers questioning neighbors. I spoke with a retired police officer as well as a U.S. Marshal and tells me officers never know what to expect when they go out on the call. Anytime an officer dispatched to a call, uh, you're, that officer really knows what's going to happen. Even if the dispatch tells the officer that they're going to handle a, a burglary or, or uh, a domestic violence call, you just don't know what you're going to get into. So the officer has to be uh, not only uh, physically prepared, but also mentally prepared. Now, Police Jay Jeffrey was booked into the El Paso County Detention Facility on bond totaling $125,000. According to police, the responding officers did not return fire, but back out here live at UMC, and being told that that police officer underwent surgery and is recovering. We're live outside UMC. Soul Signs, ABC 7.